Awesome. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Welcome to the Indies Orange County Candidate Forum. I'm Lisa Soar and I'm the editor of the Indy. Tonight we are at Flyleaf Books at 752 Martin Luther King Boulevard and we are streaming live at www.indieweek.com. So if you're watching it online and you'd like to actually see these people in the flesh, they're lovely. So please come on down. Um, we have five candidates this evening. We have three le- state legislative races and one Orange County Commissioner's race. We'll start from my left. We have running for House District 50, Democrat incumbent Greg Meyer. We have in House 56, Democrat incumbent Verla Insko. And in House 50, or I'm sorry, Senate 23, <laughs> woo, uh, Valerie Fouché. And she's also a Democratic incumbent. Then over here for Orange County Commissioner, District 1, which includes Chapel Hill and Carborough. We have um, to the far right, Mia Burroughs, who is a Democrat running, and then Gary Kahn, who is the Republican candidate for that seat. Um, we did actually invite three other candidates for the, the state legislative races, and they either declined um, or did not respond to our, requ- our invitation. So we're just going to have the party anyway. Uh, here, just so how people know this is going to work, and I sent this protocol to the um, to the candidates earlier. They have not seen the questions, but they do know the format, and that format is um, to keep everyone engaged in the forum, we will combine the commission and legislative candidates in the same round. We have, I think there'll be about six rounds, and this will last about an hour. So we, um, each person will receive uh, two minutes for an opening statement. Then we will have a question, and you will have one minute to answer. Now, if, for, since the commission races actually have two people running for the same one, the first candidate will answer, the second candidate will answer, and then the first person will have a chance to rebut if he or she chooses. Um, you guys have no one to rebut to, so you'll just chat. Um, so we did have a, oh, and then, so you'll have two minutes closing remarks as well. And Billy Ball is our uh, staff writer and an excellent timekeeper. Mm-hmm. He never misses a deadline. And uh, he'll uh, hold up signs when you're getting close to the time. And then about halfway through, Billy and I are going to change spots. So first of all, um, let's start with introductory statements for each legislative and commission candidates. And we're going to start with Greg at the end. Good evening. My name is Greg Meyer, and uh, for the last 16 years, I was working in the Chapel Hill Carborough City School District. Uh, My wife is a teacher. She teaches for the Durham Public Schools. We have three children, two of whom attend uh, Durham Public Schools, and one who went through Orange County Schools, uh, Durham Tech, and now is at UNC Charlotte. So our family is deeply immersed in public education. Over the last few years, I became increasingly concerned about the direction that North Carolina was taking with regards to support for public education, which I believe is part of what made this state so great throughout the 20th century. And when Senator Ellie Kinnaird retired and Senator Fushi was appointed to replace her, the District 50 seat came open, and I sought appointment to the seat, uh, basically making the case to people with the question, don't you think it would be good if there was someone who actually had worked in public education who was making decisions about what's happening in, uh, in Raleigh. So my main issue is being interest, of course, in keeping our public schools strong and trying to make sure that every child in North Carolina gets an education that will help them for a 21st century workforce. I also believe that just sustaining strong public education from early childhood all the way through post-secondary education and adult education is key to sustaining uh, the, the North Carolina economy. I'd be happy to talk about all kinds of other issues tonight of which I'm learning as much as I am leading and uh, look forward to the service that I can provide to the state on all of, the, all of those issues. Greg, Verla? Thank you very much. I'm Verla Insko. I represent the 56th House District, which is uh, all of Carborough down to the uh, Chatham border and most of Chapel Hill and into the ta- uh, Hillsboro Township. Uh, I've lived in Chapel Hill since 1965, uh, and I have seen a, an incredible growth in economic development and in progressive uh, movements here in North Carolina since I've lived here. I feel like I've been part of that. 
and have been proud to be part of it. Um, I served on the Chapel Hill Carver Board of Education for eight years and on the uh, Orange County Board of Commissioners for four years before I uh, ran for the General Assembly in 1996 uh, to be seated in 1997 and I've served there since then. Uh, I thought that I would spend most of my time in education since I'm a former uh, school teacher but uh, uh, Health and Human Services had a vacancy. Uh, there was no, no leadership uh, in that area at that time and so I was asked to step into Health and Human Services and since then I've spent a lot of time on, uh, on Medicaid, health care, uh, and uh, early childhood education. Uh, I've also been very active in, in education and have been a big supporter of the university. I've seen the university grow and to be an economic actually engine for North Carolina through its research uh, and, and, uh, and innovation and entrepreneurship. And I'm very concerned about uh, the cuts to education in North Carolina, especially to the university uh, where we could be losing one of our major economic uh, industries and uh, look forward to uh, sharing some other ideas on other issues with you and answering any questions. Thank you. Thank you, Valerie. Good evening. I am Valerie Fushi and I am proud to serve the citizens of District 23 in the North Carolina Senate. I have been able to serve in this area for a number of years, 17 of them exact. I've served seven years on the Chapel Hill Conference School Board eight years as an Orange County Commissioner and the past two years in the General Assembly. I think that North Carolina is at a crossroads right now. We need to ensure that our investments in public education are not just adequate, but what we need to ensure that our students are able to compete nationally and globally. I don't believe that will happen if the current majority is allowed to continue to defund education. I think that as we look at what's happening in North Carolina, as it relates to the country, we are now at the bottom as it relates to education funding. Um, I want to return to the General Assembly to ensure that those investments are what they need to be. I think that we have an opportunity now to expand Medicaid, to make sure that we are taking care of our most vulnerable citizens and that we are not seeing hospitals in our state close. So again, thanks to the Indy for holding this um, debate. Um, we'll probably have a conversation, and I look forward to the questions. Thank you very much. Okay, um, yeah, you go. I'm sure we go. So first, I would also like to thank the Indy for this. This is the first forum that uh, we've been involved in in the general election, so this has been a great opportunity. Um, so I want to tell y'all a little bit about myself and where how I come to, to be in office and, and really looking to run the county commission. In both my professional work and in my electoral work, I have been very focused on helping children and youth achieve their potential. There's a legislative aid for a U.S. Congressman from Pennsylvania um, with responsibility for children's and, and women's issues. And then I worked over uh, several years with national, state, and local um, nonprofits that were involved and particularly focused on teen pregnancy prevention. I have consulted in, with several nonprofits in the area with expanding beyond teen pregnancy to help kids um, uh, avoid uh, a, a path that would give them um, brushes with the law uh, and, um, and, 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 and continue to focus again on also reproductive health as well with, with um, those nonprofits. I was elected to the school, Chapel Hill Carver School Board in 2007, and I have served as both vice chair and chair. Um, so I, all that is to say, to really give you the background, that consistent with all that work on both sides of my life, my focus for county commission truly will be on promoting policies that will help our most vulnerable citizens. Okay. Gary? Because this is working. Yes. Um, those who know me, know that uh, I'm not new to politics. I'm a former Chapel Hill Town Council candidate last November, and I decided to extend my campaign for county commissioner when Alice Gordon decides not to seek uh, another, to retire from the county commissioner's job. Um, I have been actively involved with Chapel Hill politics. Um, I was a person seeking uh, Penny Rich's vacancy in Chapel Hill when she got promoted, got elected to the Board of County Commissioners. 
I was one of the people who, who seek the position that obviously did not get it. And that enabled me to run for uh, Chapel Hill Town Council. Um, I'm not new to the Town Council. I've addressed several issues. It was the cell phone ban. I was very vocal on that. I was a very outspoken person in favor of it. Uh, the H incident, I was a very outspoken person on that. Um, so basically, I'm one who knows what's going on in the town, and uh, I want to extend what my knowledge of Chapel Hill politics and Carborough politics up on the, on the, uh, on the county level. That's it. Okay. We'll now begin the questions. We're going to start with Verla for the legislation, legislative race. Well, as I think one of you said in your opening remarks, the Democrats are not in power. They're very much in the minority uh, in the legislature. So tell us how you propose to get anything done. Uh, well, uh, let me just, I said, I heard a, a, a comment uh, earlier today from a, a Republican who, who was being interviewed who said, um, Oh, Democrats only have this tired message of um, income inequality and um, uh, uh, um, lack of jobs and a, a need for to increase the minimum wage. It is really a tired old, um, a tired old story. Uh, so I uh, think that d Democrats actually will not be able to accomplish a lot. But I think it's very important for us to actually propose something. And so I hope that we will be able to propose how we would uh, return jobs to North Carolina. I would, um, uh, first of all, I would re re restore the earned income tax credit. I would expand the um, uh, community college uh, uh, training programs to coordinate with uh, industry and, uh, incre and make some improvements in uh, education for long-term job growth. Okay, Valerie, same question. The only thing I would add to what Representative Insko has said is that in any situation, um, there has to be a way to build coalitions. There has to be a way that...